So the difference between mediation and arbitration is significant. In mediation, two parties hire someone, typically a family law lawyer, but it can be a retired judge, it can be a psychiatrist, it can be a psychologist, it can be a coach of some kind, and they hire that person to help them resolve the dispute. That person, the mediator, has absolutely no power to force anyone to do anything. Arbitration, on the other hand, is different. So in arbitration, the person has the power, they're appointed by a contract to have the power to make a decision. And that decision is called an arbitration award and it's enforceable just like a court order. So the benefits of mediation are significant and numerous. First of all, you're getting a chance to resolve your dispute the way you want, as opposed to a judge in court makes a decision and you're stuck with it. When you go to court, although a judge is sometimes charged with trying to help people settle, the judge may not have the time, the resources, the judge may not have the background or experience that a hand-picked family law mediator can have. And mediation is also totally non-binding. So if the parties are not able to reach an agreement, then the mediation ends. And so you can be very creative in making proposals that you would otherwise be very nervous about making for fear of them being admitted into court. So the benefits of arbitration are significant. The first benefit is you get to pick your judge. You get to pick the person that is going to be the one who makes the decision in the event you're not able to settle your dispute. Not so in court. You could get a judge who's ready for retirement. You could get a judge who uh, really doesn't want to be there, who knows a lot about family law or very little. But in arbitration, the parties, through the help of their lawyers who know the people in this industry, will generally pick someone who's known to be fair, reasonable, efficient, and, and experienced. There are, however, some disadvantages to mediation. The biggest is the mediator has no power. So you could spend a full day with a mediator and pay that mediator your half of the fees, pay your lawyer to prepare your paperwork, pay your lawyer to being there and walk out with no deal. And that's the biggest complaint that I hear from clients who I advise to try mediation. The biggest downside to arbitration is you're stuck with that person. So in a court setting, you frequently will see different judges along the way, but in arbitration, you're, the person you've picked is your decider from beginning to end. So if you don't like what they're, how the case is going, you're stuck with that person. I started doing mediation arbitration in 2006. By that point I had been a lawyer for about 10 years and I had learned enough of the tricks of the trade I felt and been around the courts enough to feel like I could offer um, some real help to people. I have um, boardrooms here and I'll have husband and his lawyer in one room and wife and her lawyer in another room and I'll spend the day going back and forth trying to help get a settlement and most of the time we're successful.